channel. God, that was very high pitched. Hi everyone. Um, this is like a Bun Friday, except it's a dedicated Bun Friday and it's a Bun Monday because uh, it's pouring down outside and London is freezing cold and I'm loving it. It's sweater weather. It's sweater weather. Um, remember a couple of weeks ago when I said, oh, I'm going to find out what's happening with Good Jeans, I'll get an update for you. Essentially, Sunday Riley got in touch and said, well, if you wouldn't mind, would you just dedicate a whole video to it? Because we think the message needs to be relayed very clearly about what's happened and what's going to happen going forward. And I said, well, I can, but I have a lot of questions myself. And if you think I have questions, my viewers are much worse than me. You guys are a tough nut to crack and I love you and I'm here for it and I appreciate you. Um, so I asked the sort of questions that I, at the very most basic level, I knew you would have. Given they're due, we had a conference call. I spoke to Sunday and her team. Um, I sort of bombarded them almost. I felt a bit like I was on news at 10 but they answered all of the questions, they gave me all the info I wanted. Um, and I think you'll be happy with the solution. I don't know how it will work going forward if you wanna buy both, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Sunday Riley, Good Jeans. This is the original Good Jeans all-in-one lactic acid treatment. It is um, the hero product in the industry. I would call this their pension fund. It is the product they're most known for. This and Luna, I would say, but definitely good genes. It was taken off the shelves in the EU because the EU regulation, and I have all of my legalities here, is that you cannot have a lactic acid. This is only the rule for lactic acid. You cannot have a lactic acid on the market that is 10% strength, or a pH of five or below. This is 7%, so that's fine, but the pH is three. Now, a pH of three, this is why you get such good results for it and why you'll always feel the tingle. A pH of three is something that we would do in clinic normally. I have all my, you can't see them, but I have all my sort of clinic acids down there and a lot of those are a pH of three. Um, the EU wasn't having any of that. So Sunday Riley had three choices, and this is one of the questions I asked them. Um, how, why was it pulled from the EU, da da da. Our only options were to drop good genes from the market, market and not offer it to the EU and the UK. And I just said, well, that's it. I remember on the phone call going, well, that's never gonna happen. It's your hero product, obviously. Alter the pH to five or above. And I said, well, that's never gonna happen because then it becomes virtually useless. They said, exactly or switch lactic acid out for another acid and keep a lower acidic pH. And that is the option that they went for. Um, they reformulated good genes lactic acid by substituting the lactic acid for glycolic and took the opportunity to make the formula cleaner and more gentle. Now, how does that affect you, the customer? This good genes, the original lactic, is what you will buy if you are standing in Sephora or ordering online in the USA. This is a lactic acid of 7%, the pH is three. It is $105 to $158, depending on the size. This is the new Good Genes glycolic acid treatment for the EU and for the United Kingdom. It is a 7% glycolic. It is a 3.5% pH, which is still very low and it has a 3% a three lactic acid salt to twist the formula just that bit more to make it a bit more acidic. Um, because the laws on glycolic are totally different, which is weird, and I'll tell you for why in a minute. The glycolic EU guideline is 12.5% and a pH of 3.5. So they've taken the pH as low as they can get it. You don't need to do a glycolic to 12.5% for an everyday product, it's a bit too much. This will be priced at 85 to 128 pounds. So kind of in line. What's odd, and this is not from Sunday Riley's point of view, this is from my point of view as a facialist and as someone who knows the difference between lactic and glycolic. Lactic acid is a bigger molecule. It's more gentle, it sits on the surface of the skin. That's why we call lactic acid. If you remember all my old videos, I talk about it being Pac-Man. It's kind of like Pac-Man on the surface of the skin, it eats away at the surface of the skin and it kind of leaves your skin feeling uh, smoother, softer, more refreshed and products penetrate really well after it. That's lactic. Glycolic is a beast of an acid um, in that the molecules are much smaller so it's able to penetrate deeper. Um, that's why I find it odd that you can do 10 of lactic but 12 and a half of glycolic. 
However, mine's not to argue with the EU, mine's just to give you the info. So, how it will affect you in terms of being a United Kingdom customer, you will only be able to buy the glycolic version of good jeans for now. Although in the UK and with Brexit, God knows what's going to happen. If you are in the US, you will buy the lactic acid version. I asked them if they're going to make both available on their own website. They said they are thinking about it. My advice would be they should because I prefer the glycolic. Words, I swear, I swear, I swear to Duran Duran. It's about the only thing I can say that won't offend anyone. I swear to Duran Duran. They are words I never thought you would hear me say. Um, when this first came out, I championed it. It's still a great product. Um, I sort of went off. I didn't really use it as much in recent years because I'm always testing liquid exfoliants. And so it's one of those that you grab. It's like a no-brainer. Oh, I need some lactic. I'll just grab good jeans. This one suits my skin more, which I'm surprised about because I've, I've sort of avoided glycolic since before the summer months because we were going to very hot countries and I just thought, oh... I'll just have a break from glycolic and stick with other acids. So I've been using mandelic, I've been using lactic. Um, but the reason I think I like this one is that to make sure that the glycolic formula... Now, a lot of you, just to backtrack, a lot of you love this because it's lactic. And you, you always, you know, I get a lot of people saying, I can't tolerate glycolic, I don't like glycolic, it's too strong, yada, yada, yada. Um, I say that to say that there was more to say. I don't say that in a dismissive tone like the Sopranos. Um, what they have done with this one, I just want to make sure my paperwork is up to date, thank you very much, um, is buffer it with something to make it extremely gentle upon application. So what I love is you get the initial sting, and I, sting is a good thing, there's no burn, it's like, oh, you know, you can feel it, like someone pinching your bum. Um, this now contains a product called Nopalex or Nopalex, which is the prickly pear that is in a lot of their products anyway. If you look, uh, I remember the original one said prickly pear, but yeah, the main ingredient here is prickly pear. Um, but it, they've clinically trialed it and they've used it at a stronger percentage to basically uh, buffer the strength of the glycolic. So the glycolic will go in and do its work like this, but it kind of does it wearing a cashmere scarf, if that makes any sense in any kind of analogy. Um, and I found myself, because I've had both, and I've been sort of playing, I found myself reaching for the glycolic more than the lactic. I now think the lactic, so let me just read you the back label to give you an idea. High potency, purified grade, lactic acid, exfoliates dull, pore clogging dead skin cells to instantly clarify and reveal smoother, clearer skin. Containing clean, ultra glycolic acid to revitalize the appearance of dull, congested and sun damaged skin without compromising on what matters to you most. Safety, quality and fast results. Good Genes Glycolic penetrates the surface of the skin with tiny glycolic acid molecules. Can you see I'm getting blind? Look. look. <laughs> Sinking deeper into the skin from other forms of AHA to break apart pore clogging debris and repair the look of sun damaged, congested, wrinkled or dull skin. With just one use, instant radiance and skin clarity are visibly boosted. Now, I have to agree with that. And I tell you, I'll be buggered. I prefer this. I think what they've done inadvertently and because the EU kind of forced their hand, this is something I would give to Ava because she's at that sort of hormonal teenage sort of acne. It's not acne at all, boo. I'm just giving that information for other people who may be going through it. Hormone forehead spots. You know, like pimply. This is great for that. This one is better for my age group. And I did not find any intolerance. My skin did not go red. Um, I haven't even given this feedback to Sunday Riley the first time they hear this is when they watch this video. <laughs> um, I found it better for my age group. And here's what I think they should do. <laughs> Not that they need to take a blind bit of notice of me. They've got lactic, they've got glycolic. I think they should do good genes L, good genes G, and then also do something like a mandelic. 
like the acids that aren't really that well known, like branch out. Why only have one in one country and one in another? Now, I also asked about their website that is coming back. It was supposed to be back up last week. It, as of this morning, I couldn't see it back up, but that is imminent. And as I said, they are toying with the idea of offering both on their website, but that will, again, only be if you live in the USA. If you live in the EU, you're gonna to have to make do with a glycolic, and I have to tell you, you're not getting a bad deal. I prefer it. Um, whether or not, you know, if they're side by side in Sephora or side by side on their website, I don't think anything is going to slow down the machine that is the Lactic Original Good Jeans. But I think if, try and film, thanks very much. Monday morning, central London. Um, I think if you are concerned that you've always loved this and you don't, you're not really a fan of glycolic, I would get into a store, because you'll be able to get it in Space NK, get into a store and patch test it. I think you'll be surprised. I was, I didn't know what to expect. Um, I don't know what to tell you. I have used it, uh, not so much in the, I've used it, I used it this morning, I used it last night and I used it yesterday morning. I kind of started picking it up twice a day when you don't have to, you can just use it in the morning or the evening, it's up to you. So you use them both the same way. They have a similar effect. It's just that the lactic is much more surface. Sort of, this is a bit like having a hoover and this is a bit like repairing the carpet. Do you know what? If there was an Olympic sport for analogies, I would be Usain Bolt. Um, I will put below and on the accompanying blog post, just those facts about the pH level again and the acidic level um, and the pricing and the key differences of each. But I hope that gives you some information about how it happened. It wasn't anything underhand. Like I said, it's happened to a few other products and I will start adding those into Bun Friday. Uh, not a few other products of theirs, a few other products in general, because the FDA in the States and the EU are very different in what they will allow. So where brands used to just cross pollinate and sell to both countries, that is becoming harder and harder to do so. And even with things as innocuous as some oils and things. So I don't think if you live in the UK and you used to use this one, I don't think you're gonna be disappointed by this one. And if you're an older woman, say nothing, yeah? If you are a woman of a certain age, you will probably prefer the glycolic. It's a sweeping statement, I don't know. And if you're in the US and you're a woman of a certain age and you use the lactic, I'm not for a, for a second suggesting you stop using it. I'm just saying that I was very pleasantly surprised. Um, in fact, let me just quickly show you. This is the glycolic and this is the lactic. They're almost exactly the same. One swipe, one swipe. There's not much in it at all um, in terms of texture and application. So you're not gonna find one is runnier than the other. I found the glycolic a minuscule a minuscule more creamy but you wouldn't know it to kind of look at it it's just the way it feels on the skin it just feels a bit softer which is strange given that it's a stronger acid anyway I hope that helps and give you some clarification um, I hope that gives you all the information that Sunday Riley wanted me to give you um, I will be in the comments underneath and I'm sure that the brand will be in the comments too because I know you'll all have your questions um, but that's essentially it. This is Good Genes 1 with the Alpha Lactic and Good Genes G. This is how I have been thinking about them in my head. This is all skin types. This is also all skin types, but actually it's better for someone who wants to sort of try and fix sun damage, visible signs of aging, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, seriously, uh, this is why I don't film on Monday mornings. Um, you may find there's a place for both but you will not find that place in the UK in the current situation in terms of acids. However, if you live in the USA, as always, you're probably gonna be able to buy both. How rude. Uh, take care, I will see you soon. I don't know what else is up this week. I can't remember. Uh, have a good week, bye.